So now that you've got the Honor 8, you're not really in love with how it looks. I want to show you how you can make it look the way that you desire. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of what Emotion UI looks like, but there's some ways that you could tweak it around to make it look the way that you want. There's a few options that you could choose from, so let's go ahead and dive on down and take a look. Currently, this Honor 8 is on Emotion UI 4.1. Version 5.0 will be out pretty soon, but until then, there's some ways that you could tweak around the way the Honor 8 looks. Personally, my favorite theme is stock Android, so I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a second. One of the ways that you could change things up is by installing a custom launcher like Nova Launcher. So this is how I have my setup for Nova Launcher. I like this icon tray down here that Nova Launcher offers. It has basically all my most used apps. And if you're curious, I'm using the Fix icon pack, which has just been a great one. I've been using it for the longest time now, and it's just a really nice looking icon pack. So you got that much, but you might not like what the settings look like, what the notification shade looks like, or anything like that. So there's something that you can do. You can go to the Play Store and type in Emotion UI Themes. There's this one option here called Stockify and you can open that up and you can install and update the theme. And it takes you to your theme app. The Honor 8 has a theme app and that's where all your themes are. It comes with about four different ones already, which is the Halo, Pink, Gold, and Pure. I downloaded Stockify, which basically changes up the lock screen and some of your icons. There's not much else to it. But if you want to change up more than that, this is where you want to stay tuned. Head on over to XDA Forms and then find the Honor 8 section. Then there's a Themes, Apps, and Mods. Tap that. Once you get there, find this section right here, which is called Theme, Emotion UI, Material, VUI. You're going to select that, scroll on down, you can kind of see some previews of what it's going to look like. And he's got quite a few different options here and he's constantly updating so it's getting better and better. As you scroll on down, you're going to find the download section, but before we do that, there's some simple installation instructions. First, you're going to download the zip file. Once it's downloaded, rename it to a dot, then you're going to move it over onto HW Themes folder, which is in your internal storage or your SD card. The theme that I like the best is going to be number three, which is the theme with the AOSB nav bar. So you select download. Now this is going to be an internal browser within the app. You can do this on your computer and swap over the files if you'd like to do it that way. But what I'm going to do is open this up in Chrome. Another thing that you want to ensure is to go down to your settings. You're going to scroll on down and find data saver and make sure that's toggled off. The reason why I want to off is because it will change the file size and it will not show up in that theme app. All right, so all you got to do now is just download. Now that it's downloaded, you're going to want to go to a file manager app. I personally like to use Root Explorer. Look at your download folder and then locate the file that you just downloaded. This is actually an updated version for what I did. It was version 9.0, now it's 9.3. So I'm actually gonna walk this through with you guys. Long press this, come over to your options, hit rename, scroll to the end, get rid of the .zip and replace it with HWT. Hit okay. And what you wanna do is long press again Copy it or cut it, either way, it doesn't matter. Go to your HW Themes folder and then paste it on in. Now you can see that's moved over here. Next, we'll go to our Themes app and then you'll see the theme that you just downloaded in this list. You can select it and as you can see here, it is version 9.3. So it was really cool that I actually replaced the one that I had. You can get some previews of what everything's gonna look like. From there, you just hit apply, hit keep. Now everything looks like material design or stock Android. You can see that the notification shade looks like stock Android along with our shortcuts and our settings. So it's really cool stuff. I like this look a whole lot more. So that's how you change things up on the Honor 8. I'm personally thankful that there's actually these options out there. I basically do the same thing over my Samsung devices because those now have theme stores as well. I like everything else about Emotion UI because it's got some really great, awesome features. And now it looks the way I want it to look. If you thought that this video was helpful to you, please give it a nice big thumbs up. Also share it with your favorite social networks as someone else might find this useful. I've got more plans to show more videos about the Honor 8, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss those videos when they come out. Follow me on the social networks. I really like interacting with you guys over on those sites. And until then, stay techy.